share with the guys about the fans, the loudness, anything like that? Yeah, it's going to be a loud stadium. Um, you know, it's a big stadium. They're going to have a lot of people there. Uh, but, you know, once you know the game starts, you know, it's 100 yards, and, you know, everyone in between those lines are the only people who matter. So, you know, just uh, go out there and play your game. How, but how much, um, Coach Long said you improved, you become more comfortable with the offense literally every day that's going on. Is that true? And if so, where are you now compared to where you when you first got here? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, at first I was just trying to get, you know, the terminology down. Um, and now, you know, I'm just starting to feel a lot more comfortable with the concepts and what we're trying to do. Uh, you know, talking to Coach Ludd, you know, just uh, really fine point where he, what he wants and what he expects from the offense. Uh, I think I have a good grasp on that. And, and, you know, like you said, just, you know, just trying to get better every day. What was it about San Diego State that drew you here? And has that been reinforced since you've been here, whatever it was that drew you here? Yeah, you know, I started following San Diego State last year, um, you know, towards the end of the season. You know, I like what they had coming back. Um, and, you know, it's definitely shown since I've been here. You know, I've grown close to the guys. It's been, you know, great working with them, uh, getting to know everyone. And, you know, I just look forward to getting out there Saturday and playing with them for the first time. Brian, when you said you start following San Diego State, did you start watching film more intensely? Did you just watch highlights, the box scores? What, how did you follow them more? Uh, I'd say more box scores. I try to watch, you know, as many games as I could. Like, I've seen the Boise game last year, the uh, – uh, the bowl game last year. Um, so, yeah, in that aspect, whenever they, you know, it was usually a, a later game, so I was able to check that out and, you know, just try to catch as many as I could. And you were definitely watching it, not just, just the innocent bystander, but you were analyzing what they look like possibly for you. And yeah, you definitely. I mean, I tried to see if I could fit in here and, uh, you know, the different pieces they had coming back uh, and if I'd have a good opportunity to come in and play. So. Josh, what have you seen on tape from their passing game, their wide receivers, and their quarterback? Well, a lot of their receivers are uh, are gone, so a lot of younger guys. And then uh, their number one receiver uh, had broke his wrist. So um, we think that they're going to come out and they're going to throw the ball around. And we'll, we're trying to be prepared for, for anything that comes at us. They uh, like to do a lot of shifts and motions. And uh, line that receiver up deep, wide out there. So He's got to cover the receivers and uh, be prepared for most anything because there's not a lot of film on a lot of the younger receivers. So we're keeping the game plan open and uh, just trying to get excited, ready to play, be expecting whatever comes at us. Hey, Josh, by the same token, um, their quarterback hasn't really seen a 3 3 5. He said yesterday he's never played against it. Do you feel like maybe you guys have some looks? For him, that he's not going to recognize? Well, definitely. We're, I mean, we're going to fly around. We're going we're gonna to we'll try to play our game. Uh, throw some things at him that he probably hasn't seen, some different kind of blitzes and things like that. So uh, we're just going to go out and uh, keep the, the energy up, uh, fly around the football, and, and hopefully be able to confuse him a little bit and uh, see if that works out for us. Is it almost a no-lose situation for you guys in the sense of people expect them to score the 33 points or more a game that you know they've averaged last year? And people expect a big score from them. So... You guys kind of look at it. As, yeah, well, you know, well people have their high expectations, but, you know, we want to play our game. Like, we, we believe in our program, we believe in our school, and we can go out and play with anybody. So we want to be able to do that, uh, show the country we're made up with the first game. We've been hitting each other here for a long time, so we want to go out and, and have the opportunity to place another opponent and, uh, and prove to people what, what we're made of. Do you think you guys have received a, a lack of respect in some of the preseason prognosticating? Well, you you like like to be uh, ranked high and all that kind of stuff, but you know it's it's not it's not nothing uh, to be worried about. We're going to go out and play our game. Uh, we're excited. We want to do it. So now it's just going out every week. You know the season's a marathon. Going out and, and doing it over and over, be, being consistent and uh, playing a fundamentally uh, technically sound football. Ryan, your thoughts? Is there something to be proven by the Aztec program with, with Lindley gone and been to a couple bowl games now? And I mean, has this program arrived, or or what are your thoughts about that? Yeah, I mean, I think so. I think uh, you know, I think you should try to prove yourself every day, and you know, we're going to try to do that every week. Um, you know, just take it week by week, and you know, this one's the first one, so I wouldn't say it. You know, it's a uh, it means any more than any of the other ones. We just want to come out here this week and uh, you know, try to get a W. Does the fact that it's against the Pac-12 team make it a bigger game than other games, or or not? Not at all. This this is the first one of of 12 during the season. Hopefully, 13. So, 
I wouldn't say it's a bigger game than any of them. Alec, uh, Coach Long said that one of the things that he is interested to see is how the offensive line, because there's so many new starters on it. Uh, do you guys have a, for lack of a better term, a little bit of a chip on your shoulder? Because if even your own head coach is not doubting, but just interested to see how you're going to play. Uh, a little bit. I think we, we need to prove ourselves up front. We have three new starters coming back. And two of the two stars are coming back, coming off injury. So I think uh, I think we have something to prove. So I'm excited to go out there and play. And I think the other four guys in the line are, are as well. So I'm looking forward to it. How well acquainted have you been able to get with your new offensive line mates? Good. We, uh, we got a lot of reps in camp. So continuity's there. We just got to go out and play in games. It's totally different. So things will be flying around and got to stay calm and we'll be all right. The, the out six program, and all three of you can address this if you like, last two years, bowl games, first time in school history. Uh, you had maybe one of the best quarterbacks ever to play here, maybe one of the best running backs to play here. What? How important is it to keep the role going, if you will, to show that San Diego State wasn't just Ryan Lindley and, and Ronnie Hill? Well, well, it's a, a, the belief around here has changed a little bit in the sense that uh, guys are going out every week uh, knowing that what we're capable of, a little bit more uh, of faith in uh, what we're doing and, and game planning and going through with the game plan and, and fighting through adversity as far as toughness goes on the team. And we know how to win now. We've seen it. We got a taste of it. So now it's just going out and understanding that uh, wins aren't just going to come. You got to go out and, and take them every week. It's going to take an a, a hour-long football game to do that. And Ryan, what do you think will be the toughest part of this game? You know, I think, uh, you know, just getting, you know, it's the first game. You know, it's the first time we're going up against a different opponent. I think when it comes along, I mean, being any game one, I think it's just really trying to find your identity, uh, how you're going to be during a game. And, uh, you know, just try to, uh, you know, stay positive And, you know, things aren't going to go your way all the time. I think it's just kind of seeing how, you know, people are going to react to the moment. And, uh, you know, I think, uh, I think it'll go well. Ryan, invariably in games like this, you get the topic brought up about an AQ conference playing a non-AQ conference and the difference in the talent levels. You, you've seen now the talent levels here and at Oregon State. Is there still that big a gap between the Pac-12 and the Mountain West? I don't think so. Um, you know, I don't know how it was, you know, before I got here, but you know, all these guys have confidence. I feel like all these guys can play on the field, going up against them in practice. Um, not too sure about other teams in the you know the Mountain West, but uh, you know I think I think uh, we can play with anyone, um, and you know I think we'll be ready to play against anyone. We're going to go out there, play our game, and uh, you know just try to get better every week. Josh, what have you learned or, or gleaned from playing with McFadden, and you know what makes him special? Well, McFadden, he's just, he's an athlete. I mean, he's. Uh, He's fast. He's quick. His reflexes are you know, acute. I mean, he he goes out every week with a with a chip on his shoulder, and, and and he's very competitive. So when you see that and you get that kind of a mixture in a player, you know there's greatness. So uh, you can expect good things from Leon. Great things. Uh, and just seeing his work effort in practice. I mean, he doesn't like when guys catch balls on him. So he has that competitive nature. He's gonna go after it. And it just and it kind of gets everybody in the corner room going. I mean, he doesn't say a lot, but you don't need to say a lot when you lead by example like he does. So. That's just that's the thing that separates him from a lot of other players is his aggressiveness and, and that being an athlete on an athlete on top of it. He does seem like he's pretty intense in practice. I've seen him. Yeah, no, he does, he he's very intense. He doesn't like uh, if a, if he's going up against somebody, he's not letting them. You know, he's going to play aggressive and he has athleticism to back it up. So yeah, that's that's going to be make him a great player. You said he goes out with a little chip on his shoulder. And some guys don't do that. What, what's the difference for him? Do you think? Well, it's just his competitive nature. I mean, a lot of guys on our team have that where they, you know, we, we hate to lose around here. We, uh, we play with a chip on our shoulder, with a toughness, with a, you know, with a, with a fight, a chip, like you said. And uh, yeah, he, he just stands out with him because with that and athleticism, like I said, I mean, it just sticks out a little more because he, he has the ability to make a couple more plays that some other guys in other places might not be able to do. Coach is saying that you guys had a lot of receivers, a lot of really good receivers this year. What does Zell Ruffin do well as a receiver? 
you know, I think he uses his body really well. You know, he's not the biggest, you know, the fastest guy on the field, but I think, you know, he has a real knack for making plays. He uses his body well when he's running routes um, and, you know, holding off defenders. Uh, you know, I think he's done a great job during the spring and the, during uh, fall camp, and, you know, he's just improving every day. He hasn't got a lot of playing time, but, um, you know, I, I look for him to be a, a big factor come Saturday. Well, at, at some point during the game, that stadium's going to erupt. Even if it's just the opening kickoff, or they're probably going to score a touchdown, no offense, Josh, but uh, that stadium's going to erupt and get loud, and it may start to roll. What will you say at that moment to try to make sure that things don't get out of hand like they sometimes can be? Yeah, I say just try to calm everyone down. I mean, I, people played in big stadiums um, before, and, you know, we have crowd noise out here. That Those speakers out there get pretty loud. So, you know, I think, uh, you know, we'll probably do that one more time before the game, and, uh, you know, I think we'll be ready for it. Um, you know, things like I said, things are going to happen during the game. You just got to roll them and, uh, you know, try to get past them. Alex, do you have anything to add in terms of, like, uh, what you might say to your line mates or anything like that? Stay calm. Do what you do. Um, listen to each other. Communicate. See, tell us what the defense is doing and if something happens and what he beat you with or things are going to happen in the game. Just communication. Communication is the biggest thing up front for us. One other thing Coach Long said is that if a team is overly excited to play an opponent, he believes that means the team doesn't think it can win. Like if you're really excited, you think it's your Super Bowl or whatever. Uh, but he said he hasn't seen that from this team. Uh, is that was that a point of discussion, or is that just the way this team is? I think that's just the way it is. Last year in Michigan, we kind of got worked up and kind of made it a bigger deal than we should have. Um, don't really get that feel this year, so we'll see. Do you think that comes from a level of confidence? I think so. Yeah.